Hi, my name is Anna Heather. I am full-time employed as well as have the side hustle called Giselle Fashions. Giselle Fashions is a clothing line uh, specifically designed for all age groups. So we have a wide range of clientele and uh, we cater to all clothing requirements. My name is Amiya Sran and I am a student at Karachi Camera School and I'm also the founder of Crochet by Mao. Crochet by Mao is a crochet shop that hand makes, well I hand make them, um, flowers and accessories. My name is Faiza Khatib and I'm a housewife, also a grandmother. I was uh, like everybody else, stuck at home during the COVID and nothing to do much. So I started a small business which I thought would not be so successful but it was. I started making Kashmiri chai at home. Some years ago, uh, when my daughters were very small, my elder one was uh, nursery age at that time, I remember. So she had a school event and she needed a nice dress and we were not living in Pakistan at the time, we were in Oman and I couldn't find something nice that catered to my exact uh, you know, choice, my budget. So I decided to make something for her myself. That was the first product that I ever made and that was the basic, you know, the birth of Giselle Fashions itself. I started around a month ago, so like Feb of this year. Till this day, um, the whole crocheting process and like making the product and like giving it to them, that's my favorite part. Like giving it to the person, that's my whole motivation. And I would say that's the whole reason I started this business, just to see people happy and like how happy my flowers make them. Well, I started this business during COVID, which was about uh, December, yes, November of the 2022. I started it on small scale and I used to make a few bottles every day, just as much as the people ordered. My favorite thing about the business is that I have the freedom to express myself. I enjoy putting my creativity into reality and uh, motivation is something that comes from within and in my case uh, just the challenge of uh, meeting the client's requirements and filling in the deadline is motivating enough uh, but at the same time obviously uh, a positive feedback when people are expressed and they say that we're so glad that we found you we have somebody who can you know put it put our uh, idea into a reality, that's what motivates me. My favorite thing about my business is definitely that it doesn't feel like a business. It feels more like a platform for me to be creative and express myself and honestly just have fun with it. Like I don't really see it as a business and that's definitely the thing I love most about it. The favorite thing about my business is that it is convenient for me to make my uh, product whenever I want, whenever I have time, whenever uh, the space is available and I enjoy it and that is why I do it. Uh, currently it's uh, completely my own baby. I am the one running the whole thing uh, from A to Z. So in the next five years I hope that I will have a team uh, somebody, uh, a group of people that can help me with the entire uh, process from concept to execution and uh, hopefully I would be at a point where um, Giselle becomes a good sizable household name. I definitely want to make more intricate flowers. It's like this is really nice but like I want some more variety maybe. And I also want some more lavish packaging like wrapping for the flowers to like properly give them to people. Uh, in the next five years, I see my business as picking, picking up and I hope to supply a Kashmiri chai to maybe some melas, some exhibitions, some stalls. When I started Giselle, my daughters were very young and uh, we were living in Oman uh, all by ourselves as I didn't have much support at home. So it was very challenging to manage um, house, the children, the work, as well as this. So yes, challenges are always there, especially if you're a woman and you have a family to take care of and on top of that if you're a young mother. But with time, um, as my kids have grown older, I have moved back to Pakistan and Alhamdulillah there is good support here. So things have worked in my favor. Well, when I started out, uh, my family was very skeptical. They didn't really see the point of what I was doing and like, 
um, they just thought it was unnecessary and they told me to focus on my studies and like get my priorities straight. So it was a bit difficult to get them on board because obviously I wanted their support and their help. But now they're uh, much more supportive. Actually, I did not face any challenges because I was at home and I'm doing my business. But uh, there were challenges, of course, the regular challenges like lack of gas, which is regularly a problem for everyone in Karachi. And there was a problem of timing. I had kept my timing, uh, timing as such that it would be convenient for people to pick it up because I was not delivering my stuff. Otherwise, I did not have a luggage I did not have any more challenges because it was, I didn't have to go out of the house, I didn't have to supply it and still had clientele who had come to my door to pick up my product. I would tell women of all ages and uh, if you have a passion, if you have a dream, if you want to do something for yourself, just go for it. There will be challenges, there will be difficulties, there will be times where you will feel that it's not working out. But you know, little bit, little bit eventually does uh, come across. So just uh, keep at it. Um, there will be ups and downs, but you will pull through. I would say that starting a business is definitely not easy. There's going to be obstacles, there will be struggles. There will be people telling you not to do it, but if it's something that you're passionate about, something that you care about, then you need to find a way to pull through and you need to do what you want to do, regardless of what anyone else thinks. As a female and as a housewife and as a person who is doing her product at home, not on, uh, in an uh, uh, other vicinity, I would advise them, please go ahead, try it. There's nothing that cannot be done. It is not difficult. You just have to begin. Just try it. Do it. Take my advice. It is not a difficult thing. Even if it doesn't work out, you can change the product. You can try something new. You can do something else. But do something. Mm -hmm.